Just so you know, you're off my grid and in the dark. Rossi Fremont. They had such big hopes for this place. All that did was bring the gangs together under one roof. Loyalty to your neighborhood just became loyalty to your housing block. What about everybody else? They got in line, or they got out. I'm gonna take a look around, try and figure out what they've been up to. Damien's IP points somewhere in there. These guys are running the place like a fortress. Never breaking alone. Okay. I'll tap into their network, and we can get a look inside. Hey! Hey, Grin! Man, what? Saw JJ out with your girl last night, man. What, this street JJ? Yup. And motherfucker, man, I'm about to have some words for his bitch ass. construction workers come back. Hard hats don't protect nobody from a double barrel. I was out there when I rack chased out them. I saw the whole damn thing. Crazy motherfucker came at a man's neck. <laughs> Shit. Something he got from soldiers in Liberia. Go into combat with no clothes and show your enemy you got no fear. Back into the life. <sighs> she has no oh, idea how oh, right she was. What does it look like? The Viceroy's have disabled the CTOS around Rossi Fremont. He got it completely rerouted. And it's not just the CTOS that's offline. This whole area. These people. Feels like the aftermath of a war zone. That explains why Bloom hasn't fixed it. Bloom has the money to deal with this. It doesn't add up. Bloom still thinks every problem can be solved by a gun. Needs to wise up. This vigilante that's dogging everyone, that's the new kind of killer we're up against. Your gun is just a solution to a specific problem. Shit, when you need to kill somebody fast. Shit, but what if you never see him? What if the dude can destroy you before you ever meet him? Shit, I ain't going out like that. But I got front row seats if he's taking out the club. <laughs> but me, my shit is protected. That bitch won't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> 